It's one of the most iconic sites in Switzerland. The Gotthard Massif in the Northwestern Alps is one of the continent's most formidable natural barriers, barring the way between Northern and Southern Europe. For centuries, this was a key trade route for goods traveling from Germany to Italy and an important military stronghold. In 1500, it was the idea that uh, because all the river starts near in this region, they thought that that must be the highest mountain of the Alps. The difference between the Jungfrau or the Matterhorn and the Gotthard is that the Jungfrau and the Matterhorn, they do have an image. When you say, when you say Matterhorn, you just see it in, the, in your head. When you say Gotthard, there are 20 images and somebody said once the Gotthard has no image but a lot of stories. The only way to cross the Gotthard until modern times was by negotiating a narrow pass that forded turbulent rivers and scaled sheer granite gorges. This wild mountainous Gotthard pass captured the imagination of Europe's artists from William Turner, who painted the famous Devil's Bridge, to romantic poets like Goethe. The idea of tunnelling straight through this rock was an enormous undertaking, and an expensive one, the brainchild of Swiss industrialist Alfred Escher. Excavations on a first rail tunnel began in 1871, with workers using hammers, chisels, and the newly patented dynamite. It was slow and risky progress, with the tunnel advancing by just a metre a day in the beginning. But when it was finally completed, ten years later, it was the world's longest tunnel and one of its greatest engineering achievements. It was this line that was first electrified by Brown Bavarian Company, the forerunner to ABB, in the 1920s. Now, ABB Engineering has helped complete a new tunnel and one of the most groundbreaking rail projects ever attempted. Switzerland is a very small country. I think to, to build such a tunnel with a, in a country with 8 million inhabitants is very something special. You don't have the fastest train, the longest train, the highest train, but I think our uh, pride is to have the longest tunnel, which we do have now the third time and I hope for a long time again. This newly completed tunnel reaches all the way through the very base of the Gotthard Massif to form the longest and the deepest rail tunnel anywhere on the globe, powered and ventilated by ABB Engineering. It's a worthy successor to the past achievements of this imposing region, a landmark project linking Europe together from north to south a suitably iconic milestone in the long and legendary history of Gotthard.